here we go in the chat. Let us know who you think is going to win this match. I like what Get Link said. It's been the same intro since 2000. It's new to me, but it's already. I'm, I'm going to make it my ringtone. You should email contact at tablesoccer.org with some suggestions on new music. So what we've noticed, and maybe this is a running theme at every World Cup, but if you beat the player on the first game on their home table, it's a bad, bad sign. Because we've seen over and over this weekend that losing it on your home table is almost certain victory for the, the opponent. You say that earlier this weekend, I played a, a women's match where I won my first and then lost. Yeah. Oh, in happen. the pit. In the pit. <laughs> Does anybody in this chat remember when Ruben lost to Frederic in 2011? If they remember if that was a close match or not. Good steal. That was a good steal on the five by Heinrich. One thing I noticed about Kevin Hunstorfer is the power and technique. He has very little oh, wasted motions. Yeah, what that was a catch wicked. on the three bar. Nice. We're getting that Fred dominated really. Oh, nice. Both side to the deep pull side. Because replay, it, yeah, it was real deep. So Kevin's won this event twice, and that's a big deal because you get the winning DNA, the confidence to close the matches, and that's another element that Ruben's going to need to overcome, having not won this tournament before. But he also has something to prove, and that that could mean something. Yeah, for sure. What a save. Yeah, and he's already there. made an amazing grab, an amazing save in the in this match. He's he's geared. Although he's got so much energy right now, I'm wondering if he's um, wow. gonna keep it up. Like is it, is he gonna be able to keep it up? For sure. I think definitely one thing that happens with age is, you know, when you're younger and you get here, there's kind of a, this, and, and you lose. There's a foreknowledge or an expectation, I'm young enough, I'm gonna get there again. I don't, I think as you get older, you start uh, relishing the opportunity and, oh, wow, yeah, these guys are playing nice at a high pass. level, man. That was a wicked Yeah, right grab. to right. Yeah. And that was a cross between Superb technique and fortunate yeah. because the man was out there. That was the hair move, and he went right when the, the man would move for a second. And there were three, the other holes were open. The split was open, and the push side was open, and he got the pull side. It could be a mind game, though. If you hit the small hole, like, yeah. if you hit a small hole like that, then the goal is thinking, what do I do now? You know, like, if I was there, and he still scored. What do I do? Right. These guys are crushing it. It is the opposite of the defensive mastery we saw in the match with Ruben and Steve Lyle. Yeah. There's already five points scored in the first couple minutes, and we had no points scored. And no, no this is not a, a criticism of the other style of play. It's just a more active for sure and entertaining to watch. Yeah, there's been more defense on the five versus um, against the three. So far. Oh, what a save. Yeah, to finish the thought, when you get a little older, you start to relish these opportunities and caretake for them. And as the players get younger, right? We have 140 Germans qualify for this tournament, and so many of these other 19 kids are absolute monsters. And they, these kids keep playing. Yeah, someone They're was gonna... saying earlier um, that the people that started around the same time as Felix are very creative, great players I like Stefan Zipfold yeah. and. Right from Velasco, Nico Vogelmuth, all of the, all of them started around the same time as juniors, and now they've, they've aged into open. Yeah. And I think, I think that's continuing in Germany with the juniors. Uh, their junior team is super strong. I felt like they scored. Maybe, that's very close. That's very close. Yeah. Point is awarded. Yeah. And now Ruben is up for two. One more point to win this game. Yeah. That's 
Yeah, yeah those tiny holes, man. Like, look at this, look at this. Both men are in the center of the goal. Yeah, I know. But th that's how Ryan Moore shoots, too. He likes the little holes. Who? Ryan Moore. Oh, Ryan shoots that way. Honestly, sometimes they're easier to see. That's what I love about the lean hard table. It feels like there's something grabby, and there's something like you Good grab a ball out. with your toenails and reel the ball in. Important. He has this moment to win this game, and that's, I mean, like you were saying, if, if he loses this game, he's likely to lose the match. And he puts it away. Henry Gordon's game number one. Yeah, yep. Ruben may be older, but he is in great shape. You know? And he's been, he was so fast on Leo. Right. And on this table, too, the goal is so big. If you have the, the hand speed, you could do it. Um, Max Het has said Ruben won versus Kevin on Garlando in doubles mm -hmm. this year. It's great for confidence if he was beating him on the five bar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. yeah, I will say singles is different from doubles. For sure. It's, yeah, I, but I think you're right. Like. Heinrich's speed is going to serve him well on this table because that's one of the the nice. hard things like right here. That's, that's what I mean. The little, little, call it cheap if you will. I like to call it small ball. Small oh. ball in, in, in yeah. baseball, and there's a whole uh, <laughs> petite ball uh, ground emotions. But um, and there, and you got it back. You got it back. Yeah. Uh, small ball. Small ball is an American baseball term where you you bunt and you steal a base. You're not hitting home runs every time. You pick up a little score here and there. He absolutely has his work cut out for him on this table. Went for that short side effort in oh, the he zone. Almost had that grab. Kevin Zone the picked that up. The control is so hard on this table. Like even even if the ball hits your man, you know, like that. Oh, Ooh. There you go. Yeah. Nice. What a block. I made the analogy. It's just yeah. like day four here, so I don't know what day the hell it was this analogy was made. But in, in, in chess, we have this idea of tempos. You get an advantage, a, a basically a space and time advantage in, in a tempo. And in foosball, it becomes so critical when all these games can be so oh, close. Yeah. If you get a little advantage, being able to convert that advantage. And who the master of that was, of course, Frederic Polignon. And I had the great pleasure of um, li you know, live commentary on many of them. Oh, yes, nice. that's what I'm talking nice. about. Um, Frederick Cognon would get an advantage and he'd hold on to it like a, a boa constrictor tightening around your neck. You just never got it back. And uh, so now he's got a 3-2 lead here. Um, mastery is when you maintain that. Can you main, Can you continue to convert? You know, holding that, holding, um, holding that tempo to the very end so when it's 4-4, it's your opportunity. A little closer to the table here. And that is okay. That is okay. He just missed it, but he now it's 3-3, three, three, but this is the money possession right here, right? And what I'm sure has made Kevin a multi-time Garlando champion is exactly what I'm describing. Watch him plant one. There you go. Is it time for a timeout? I haven't seen Ruben use a ton of timeouts either. <laughs> this is a good time. Yeah, I think he should have used it. 3-3 three, three is crucial. It's he a good time a to use one, but I, I saw Ruben play that, I think that whole match with Steven Lyle last night, like a three-hour singles match, and I don't think he used a timeout. I thought he, I think he might not have used them because he felt badly for us because <laughs> the match was taking so long. <laughs> but um, yeah. anyone know that year? If you know that year in chat, I'm just learning. Let us know what year he won the World Championship in singles. And he's won it twice. I know one year was 2015. When he was 25. So if, if he was 18, it must have... 2008. 2008. Look at that hand speed. Yeah. Nice. Hand speed, look at that. And he saw it. Bam, yeah. That is some sweet... Yeah. Just like that, you know, he, right he was down 3-2, and he, he got the five because he right. saw it, and he got a left-handed two bar. Another. <laughs> Ruben. If, Ruben is gonna, if Ruben's going to win this tournament, as, uh, the last two matches I saw, it's going to be these ticky-tack steals. 
ready? Yeah. I really like this strategy on your opponent's table. Like, don't don't oh. give up time. Don't give there up. it is. There, there it is. is. There, there is. is. There is the time. Good job. <laughs> Two games to zero. What a story in the making. Yeah. Ruben Heinrich hasn't been here in 11 years. People are still picking Kevin to win. Yeah, I mean, he's fully capable of coming back. Let's see what happens. Got this first block. Heinrich looks like he's kicking himself. Kevin looks like he's gone up another gear. Would you agree? Well, I love it because there's a sense of urgency. There's this idea in foosball, if you're gonna go out and lose, lose on your terms. Don't lose, like, don't lose flat. Fight for it. He's you know. already made, like, three really great saves. Like, just fast, he's so fast right now. He's he's upped his, his energy right. on defense because he knows I have to win this. Oh, what? that little hustle plays, man. Yeah, the hustle plays. Hustling to the ball. He got here with those hustle plays. And great defense from Kevin. Yeah, Kevin is deed up. <laughs> no, look at all for Kevin. It's, it's true. He's hustling, and he's trying to manifest those points, but it hasn't happened yet. Near wall bank attempt but the blocked way he's by playing, the zone. Kevin, Kevin will manifest the points this way. It's it's just a matter of time. I say this right as he just called. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call the commentator's curse. Yeah. <laughs> but Ruben needs this point right here. He needs a point right here. Starting to feel it, I mean, that could go. And that was a deep push side shot. Kevin's putting his hands up like he can't stop him. And that was a beautiful shot. Someone said too much time. You've got 15 seconds. And then sometimes you need to use most of them. <laughs> and I think that was one of those moments for. for there there are two judges there from the Nether Netherlands, I think. So. Uh, no. Um, uh, there's Pascal Softgaber from Switzerland. Oh, uh, yeah. And I, I'll i have to wait till we get another shot to see who the main ref is. Wow. Oh, I mean, maybe that's the why they call him the Billy Pappas of Austria. He Damn. went, <laughs> look at how deep and long that pull kick was. You can do a dead bar pull kick on certain tables, and I think that was as far as you can go. I think both refs are Swiss. I think that was Philip. Thank you for that correction. I'm also learning my flags here. I was educated in the U.S. I, these flags are all new to me. But two to one here. Kevin not going away. Kevin's still hustling defensively. Oh, Marcel Blas. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Krause. Wow. He is really snapping off that far push side shot. I think here they call it left or right. In the US we call it near side, middle, or pull or push side. Pull side or push side. Are you pulling it or pushing it toward you? I always get confused with left and right. Yeah, but we'll call it the push side here. Um, so he's pushing the ball away from him and hitting it. He's using a Euro style pin to do it. And these guys are just playing so sharp right now, man. Those passes are incredibly, incredibly crisp. That time, push side blocked. And well, he was going to try it for a third time in a row, and, and Kevin wouldn't let him get away with it this time. Yeah. And the split that there. Was, you see that? There, there was a hole there. That was very tight. It is, it is uh, another level of play. It is a world championship level of play when the holes yeah. are this small. And they're minuscule, and these guys are picking the right shots. It didn't look like it was there. Uh, that was totally legal. Quick recovery. Kevin, yeah, you can sell. I think Kevin looked up because he thought it was a jar. And, and some hustle points from Kevin. 
You can tell from Kevin's demeanor that he's feeling the weight of uh, uh, being beat, getting beat to every small ball. It's not he's not in a great spot, but he's a, an incredible champion, and he's going to fight for it. You can see it. One of the first times we've seen Ruben go to his two to the five this, this match. Just misses the pass. Oh, yeah, now I can see it's yeah. so Marcel. Now, Kevin has a ridiculous pull shot from back here. Oh, he just missed. Gosh, he'll snap that thing off. If your men aren't set right when he hits that man with the velocity, it'll flip the man over and score. I know. And it's 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 a very uh, narrow window. It's millimeters of getting that guy in the right spot. Right. All the little things that happen that are the difference between winning and losing are incredible. We add them all up. So Kevin has a chance to, to take the lead here on Leo. He's looking for a reset. Uh, gets the ball back. Fortunate rebound. Oh, the quick the flip, push oh, side. It didn't even look like it was there. No, that was tight. Okay. So yeah. Kevin going to hold serve, hold court. Oh, another, another flippy push side. He's talking to the goal. Ruben is trying to will the next ball into the goal. It is championship point yeah. for Heinrich. It, it is, is championship, championship point. point. Now, for Kevin's Ruben been here Heinrich. twice before. Oh, Ruben now with an opportunity. You got the steal the five. Oh, the tension. Oh, oh he tried to do a five bar shot. Did he go for a five bar shot there? I, I think that might have been a five bar I think shot there. So. Hey, man, if you're feeling it. Oh. oh, what is Look, I'm a big fan of five bar shots if you've been looking at it for yeah. a long time yeah. and it's calculated. Yeah. Oh, no, here we go. Kevin wins the set. Oh, no, oh, yes. Oh, no. Because people that get caught up in the social yes. construct of being washed yes. and little people think of me doing this and that. Nice. Beautiful. Great start for Ruben. It's true. That, that's something that Tommy Yor says. It doesn't matter how you got the points. If it worked, it worked. That's right. Point if you're point. winning with slot, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. You're winning. Ruben trying to get another, another sneaky point in there. It was pretty, but he, he missed and he's giving it back to Kevin. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like it. It's the it's the best when it works. But uh, make sure you make good when you have an opportunity to make good after the fact. Yeah, kicker Esmeralda said to be afraid is always a bad idea, but it's easy to say. I 100% yep. agree. Yep. Yeah. It, it's his second time in the in the final. And he has something to prove, and that could that could work in his favor because he's fighting really hard. It could work against him because he's right. scared, he's scared to lose. And it's really hard to get out of that mindset. It takes oh. some meditation. And that is a <laughs> they really put a lot of compression behind the ball on their passes. He tried to do a brush down right now. Yeah. Oh wow! To a look at him. If I could translate that for you, he said, "Give me another, Mama." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he said. That, was, that was, was him a... saying, that's for blocking my five more shot on Leonhardt. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, Tornado883 oh. said, is there oh. any prize for oh, the winner? Oh, he got the ball in a jar. The, I think the... it's a jar call, Kevin. Oh. How critical is this? An opportunity to go up three to zero. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the problem with fighting so hard. Sometimes you're going to hit the wall at the wrong time. Oh. I think Kevin's doing the right thing. Oh, 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 oh. Kevin is incensed. 3 0 lead. Oh, rough. Well, it's taken 11 years, a five bar shot. Fortunate for the recovery. Loses the ball back to Ruben's five bar. Now Ruben with a chance to execute a pass to his three bar, and he gets a break. It's 4 to 0. Ruben is one point away from being the world champion. On Garlando, no less. Yeah. And a quick shot from Kevin. Yeah, quick 
you know, Ruben, look, I saw Ruben play twice already, and he deserves all of these points. Absolutely. He's fighting to the rods. Yeah, Kevin made mistakes. He's relaxing at the wrong times. Right. For the win. Kevin, a chance to tighten it up. champion out of any out of anything no. not a pickup game not a game for a dollar not a world championship but you cannot do it and that is exactly why one point away from tightening the noose short side effort blocked by Kevin What a beautiful lane pass. And from 4-4 to 4-3 in about 90 seconds. Yeah. A little longer. I make up numbers. It could have been too much. You know, I think you're right, though. It was quick. It was very quick. Kevin's a champion. And he, look at him. He's not going to go down easy. Yep. And again, he's not afraid to lose. Oh. That's what's helping him right now. He's this, not afraid to lose. This can go to championship point on a 4-4 four -four from a 4-0 comeback. drop right now. Yeah, the French guys are quiet, the German guys are quiet. I think I held my breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, short side effort picked up. Shoots a one on goal, gets it back here. Oh. It is championship point. He has a shot. Take advantage of this moment to become a champion. World championship point for Kevin Heinrich. Push side. It's been there for him. Reset. There it is, the split, and he is the world champion. Ruben Heinrich, 11 years in the making after losing to Frederick Colognon in 2011, overcomes all those demons and works his way back here to finally win the world championship. How sweet is that against Kevin Hunstorfer, the two-time champion, the Garlando legend. What an amazing, gosh, it's so, it's so, invigorating to see someone win by picking up all the small points all the little all the hustle plays what a great great championship yeah people people are are talking about how lucky he got and they're not wrong you know he did get some lucky breaks but that's because he was hustling so much right and kevin relaxed at the wrong times like he would get the, he got the block the the three bar shot block yeah, exactly. Force not, not, yeah. not luck. You go back and if you go back, go back and watch this match. One of the things that was a telling sign for me was Kevin was consistently demoralized by what was happening. Yeah. He he was um he was he was upset. He, Ruben would get a, a maybe a lucky bounce, and Kevin would, and and of course we all do that. Um, over time it accumulates. Uh, Ruben stayed focused yeah. ninety percent of the time. He had some lapses, yeah. but the more focused guy is gonna.